Welcome to the first financial independence challenge. You probably saw my other video, number one in this series, where I explained to you that we're going to be seeing if you have a gap between how much you need to live off your investments and how much you have now. Almost everybody does. So don't feel like you're alone, alone if you don't, if you know you're not there yet. Most people aren't, okay? So you can grab the handout if you haven't gotten it already at retirecertain.com forward slash gap. And then you'll be able to watch the video and I'm going to take you step by step to fill in the each blank on the form. I'm going to do one video per blank so I don't fire hose you with information. You know I love talking about this stuff and I get overly excited sometimes and fire hose you. I won't, I promise. So grab your handout and then come right back, pause the video, grab your handout so you can go with me through this with me and we'll fill out the very first blank in the Living Off Investments Guide. If you haven't seen the video, be sure to watch video number one first so you understand really what we're doing and sort of what's going on here. It's right here on YouTube, on my channel, and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get all the videos in this series. I'll say really quickly, hi, I'm Camille Gaines. I'm a personal investor. I've been investing for almost 40 years. I don't manage wealth for other people. That's not what I do. I just like money. I like talking about money. It's my thing. I like investing. And that's what I do on this channel. Over the past 15 years, I've been creating multiple income streams along with my husband. And this is what I do here. I talk about this. So grab your handout. This is our challenge for the month. And the first thing that we'll do is you'll see in the handout, liquid investments is the very first blank. Now, what you're going to do here is since we're looking to see how much invest, how, how much you need in investments in your retirement savings or whatever you want to call it, you know, your, your, your assets, liquid assets, we're looking to see if you have enough money to live off your investments. Now, we're going to look at just, let me tell you a few things about this first, first blank here so you understand exactly what to put in it. We're going to look at what you have in liquid investments, and that would be stocks and bonds. I understand it, this isn't your net worth. You may have a home. You may have some real estate rentals. The income from that would go in a different place on here. All we're looking at is how much money you have in money market, in uh, stocks and in bonds and any other liquid asset, you know, something like REITs or MLPs would of course qualify for that. So you're going to add that up and put that in the first blank here. So again, if you're, you know, thinking, well, wait a minute, I, I have a home and I have equity in my home and, you know, I have uh, real estate, real properties, I have this, that, all we're looking at is liquid assets for this very first column here very first um yeah but row here i should say so add it up now i want to tell you an estimate is way better than nothing because you think you have to have this right to the penny right uh your your liquid assets are changing every day and so don't feel like you have to wait on the next statement or get the exact amount, you know, round to the nearest whatever makes sense for you, right? And put that number right here. And this will come off of your brokerage statements or if you use an online platform to uh, either for your broker or your retirement account, you can pull the amount off there. If there's a good chance that you'll be adding up several amounts to put in here, particularly if you're married, you know, things like IRAs, retirement plans, any kind of savings, bank accounts. A lot of people have just a lot of money in their savings account at the bank or their checking account at the bank. So just whatever you have, add that up and put that number here. Again, it doesn't have to be to the penny. What we're going to do, sort of big picture wise, so you know what you're doing here, is coming up with your total amount of assets that you can use to live off of your investments, that you could actually get a return on, a some sort of yield on, to see how close you are to being able to live off your investments without having to spend down your investment savings. 
and I explain that more in detail in the very first video in this series. So that's number one. That's all there is to it. It shouldn't take you a long time to do this and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you see when we uh, I do another video on the next row that's here. If you don't have your handout, you can grab it at retirecertain.com forward slash gap, G-A-P, and be sure to stay tuned here at my channel to see all the videos in this series. I'm going to step through every single blank on here so you can see how close you are to financial independence. Thanks for watching.